Thank you for choosing the Kalefi Discal Air Separator. This short installation tips video will give you a general overview on how to get started with your installation. The Kalefi Discal Air Separators are available in brass from 3 quarter inch to 2 inch in sweat or MPT connections and available in 2 through 6 inch in an ANSI 150 flange. The installation principles are the same so we will cover them both in this video. One of the first things that you should notice when you open the box for your Discal Air Separator is going to be the instruction sheet. Make sure to read it thoroughly because it may have some important information that might not be covered in this video. Quick note before we get too far, the Discal Air Separators are intended for closed loop hydronic systems, not domestic water systems. They are not rated for domestic water use. The Discal Air Separators are incredibly effective when it comes to removing air from hydronic heating and cooling systems. The removal of air will help prevent corrosion, noise, and dirt formation. But before we get started, let's review how the Discal air, air Separators work. Your fluid is going to travel through your pipe and into the air separator body, where the fluid will then slow down and any entrained air or microbubbles will catch on the internal coalescing element. At that point, the air and microbubbles will gather together and rise up to the collection chamber and then out through the vent on the automatic air vent. An air separator has to be mounted vertically to work properly. The flange models work exactly the same way, but they also include a unique side mount drain valve. This drain valve can be opened during system filling to expel large amounts of air, or after your system is up and running, you can open it to actually remove any floating debris at the top of the air separator. When it comes to piping your air separator, the smaller brass air separators have a half inch connection at the bottom of the air separator, which is typically used as a point of connection for your fill valve assembly and your expansion tank. If you are not going to be using that half inch port to connect your fill valve or your expansion tank, you're going to need to cap it. And some of the brass models also include a service check valve. The service check valve allows you to connect your expansion tank to the system and down the road easily remove it for service or replacement. The larger flange models include a 1 inch male NPT connection at the very bottom of the air separator that can either be capped off or you can put a ball valve at the bottom of the air separator. When it comes to the location of your air separator, the most ideal place is going to be where the fluid's temperature is at its hottest and its pressure is at its lowest. In a heating system, this is going to be after your boiler but before your pump, and in a chilled water system, this is going to be on the suction side of the pump at the return of the chiller. If you're installing the air separator where the potential of moisture is going to be a problem, you can actually remove the cap at the top of the air vent and we offer a fitting that converts the outlet of the air vent to a quarter inch NPT fitting. At that point you can connect up the proper fittings and tubing that allows you to take that little bit of moisture and run it to a drain where it won't be a problem. I sure hope you found these tips useful. If you have any further questions, make sure to contact your wholesaler, your rep, or us directly. And thanks for watching.